Good morning, guys. Mr. Bamwell here. It's Thursday, the 4th of February. Um, welcome to your home learning for today. We are building up our English. We've actually got, um, we've only got three, three lessons, one, two, three, three or maybe four lessons left of our English. Okay, and then we're done. Um, yeah, I know it's been a tricky um, unit so far this term because I um, because there's been so much writing. We've done a lot of writing uh, and for some of us we found that quite tricky because we're not used to it. But it's a good it's a good it's a good skill to learn. It's um, building up our what we call our writing stamina. All right. So if we're only used to writing three three or four lines. All right, well, that's that's actually, we need to work on that. We need to get better, okay? If we want to be, um, get good at writing, some of you might want to be authors, okay? Um, you need to be able to write at length, okay? Build up the, the, the muscles in your hands, all right? Um, lots of you as well, um, be more creative, all right? I want us to be more creative. When it comes to story writing, I want you to be able to think about the ideas that you might have and see if you can get those down on paper because some of you've got some fantastic ideas but to, as teachers we often don't find um find out about them because we don't get them down on paper we don't get them in a in the form of a story so that's what we're working on now um yesterday and the day before you finished up hopefully uh writing up uh our innovated stage so we changed the uh the speech within the three um Dave's three little pigs story uh so you changed it to um, a different conversation between the pigs uh, and the wolf now we're moving on as i said to our final last few lessons so we've done the um we've done the innovation stage now we're going to move on to the last stage of our unit which is the invent stage. So we're inventing, we're making something new. So in the terms of story writing, we're going to invent our own story. Now, I am going to ask you to be slightly careful with this. In class, we might let you have a bit more of um, uh, your, your own sort of go where you want with this, but I'm going to try and hold you back a bit and just try and keep you um, sort of contained just so that we don't go off task too much. All right. So Let's move on. I'm, I'm just going to skip on down actually to our writing target. Now, um, the, over the next two lessons, okay, we're going to start boxing up. All right. Oh, sorry. Hopefully, you got the um, date and Walt in your book. If you didn't, pause it now um, and get that in your book. Um, so, over the, the course of the next few lessons, we're going to be building up and doing our writing target. And hopefully, instead of me really telling you the four rules over and over and over again, you are going to have a go at remembering what the four rules are of speech. And so that you can say to me and to Mrs. Barnes and Mrs. Dyer um, that your, um, your inverted commas target, you can do it. And you can do it independently. Can you remember how to use them properly? OK, and that's what we're going to be working on this um, this for the rest of this week and next week. So um, inventing, we're going to change something. Now, we sort of started doing it um, in our last text. So we changed the conversation. So we're going to change the conversation again. OK, because uh, we can come up with lots of different conversations. Now, um, how might we change the story? Think about the structure of the story and what's who's in the story, um, the, maybe the setting, the plots, the character. What would be a really good thing to change? Maybe pause it now and have a think. All right. Hopefully you might have said um, the characters. Now, if we think about this story, I'm just going to put this right down. If we think about the story of Babe and Three Picks, there are good characters and an evil character. We know that because we identified that as being part of um, the features of a fairy tale. Now, I'm going to ask you to pause the video in a second and have a think about we are going to change the characters. So it's no longer going to be Babe and um, the three pigs or Babe's three little pigs, all right? I'm going to change the characters. Now, uh, you've got examples here of good characters, dogs, um, sheep dogs, uh, you've got horses, you've got goats. Now, you've also, we're going to change um, the wolf, okay? So he's no longer going to be a wolf. You could have a donkey, a fox, um, there is a wolf there. I prefer it if you didn't and choose a different one. Um, a bull, 
Um, and then there's a, it looks like a quite a grumpy farmer there. Now, um, I'm going to tell you what my idea is, um, and then we're going to see if we can put this back into our story. So I've gone for ducks, all right? Um, now, in the story of Babe's Three Little Pigs, they all have, the characters have names. So um, we're not going to have Babe anymore, okay? We're go I'm going to go for ducks. So I'm going to have um, a mummy duck, but I can't call her mummy duck, and I can't call her Babe. So I'm going to go for um, the, the ducks, the mummy duck's name is going to be Dorothy. Okay, so Dorothy the duck. Yes, okay. So that's what we're going to do for um, my main character. Right, and Dorothy's going to have three ducklings, okay, three babies, three children called Basil, Barney, and Boris. All right, so I've already thought of the names of that. So Basil, Barney, and Boris. All right, uh, and their evil character in my story, I'm going to go for an evil fox. Now, I've chosen a fox because I thought to myself, well, what in, in the real world, what's maybe an enemy of ducks? What might try and eat the ducks? Well, a fox, okay, a fox sometimes catches ducks. So that's why I've chosen an evil fox. And I'm not gonna give the, um, the fox name because it's just an evil fox, okay? So I've got some ideas now. If you want to pause the video and start having a discussion with that in class, maybe you've got some ideas. Maybe you just want to jot down some notes of some names, um, the, the characters that you're, um, you know what you're going to go for you're going to go for dogs are you going to go for rabbits llamas anything all right um you can change it to whatever you wish all right so we're going to now box up right we've done this before all right and this is how we do all of our um story writing and writing in general in class we start boxing up to give ourselves some structure all right so and this is exactly what we would be doing in class anyway all right, so um, in your fairy tale, the sections will be split into different lengths. All right, so like we've done before. All right, this is exactly the same. The problem will be the longest part, again, because that's where the big conversation is. And that's where we're going to prove that we can use our speech. Now, the biggest difference is that there's going to be a new title. Of course, there's going to be a new title because it's not Babe's Three Little Pigs now. OK, I'm going to do I'm going to change mine to um, Dorothy, Dorothy's Three Little Ducklings, okay? Um, so that is gonna be my title. And in fact, I'm gonna put that in, in the title box there, okay? Uh, Dorothy, Dorothy's Three Little, oh, Little Ducklings, okay? And that now is my Title. So I've got Dorothy's Three Little Ducklings, and that's my new title. So you need to think of another character for Babe, okay? Mine's Dorothy, and I've gone for Three Little Ducklings, okay? So there is my new title. Now, um, we're going to move on to um, the opening. And today, I'm going to ask you, like we did previously, to come up with the opening and the build-up for your new story. Um, in the box here, and on this sheet attached to the opening on the PDF, I've attached ideas that you need to include uh, for, okay, for each part. So um, I am going to um, have a look. I've also, underneath look, I've, I've pasted in actually our ideas that we use for three, um, Babe's Three Little Pigs. So I'm not going to go too, um, too different really to, to that story, all right? Um, so it says here, um, on the opening, introduces animals, animal parents and their children. So we need to introduce the characters. Okay, explains that they, they can't stay on Farmer Hoggett's farm, so that's going to stay the same. And then um, it will be the character's speech. So, for example, when Babe um, says, go, my little ones, and explore the world, okay, I'm going to use that. All right, I'm going to pretty much, um, I'm, going to, I'm not going to use all of it word for word. I'm going to change it slightly, but I'm going to use that. And so where it says... Um, uh, and, and build yourself somewhere safe in case the treacherous wolf, instead of saying the treacherous wolf, I'm going to say the evil fox finds you. Okay, so I'm changing it slightly. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm just going to box up. So again, we're just at this stage doing um, ideas, just doing uh, bullet points. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off like all good fairy tales start, okay, um, with, what am I going to start with? 
Okay, once upon a time, okay, uh, there was a, now it's not a pig called Babe because it is a duck called Dorothy, okay? Um, now, you can go where you want with this. She was um, much more than just a duck. Uh, no, full stop. She was a magical duck that could talk and dance. Okay, so I'm changing it slightly, adding my own pieces in. All right. Um, so I've probably written a bit too much there, all right, because um, that's I'm almost retelling the story, and I don't really want to do that. I just want to do some notes, okay? Uh, I might carry on. So now I need to introduce the three children. Um, so let's do that now, okay? So she had um, three children. What did I say their names were? Um, she had three children uh, and I said that they were called now this is my story I want you to make your owner Basil uh, Barney um, Boris okay so they are my three children I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller so I can fit a bit more in here we go so they had three children Basil, Barney, and Boris. Um, he soon realised. Now that's not going to change. Okay, so he soon realised. I'm just going to. Or she, because it's Dorothy. Okay. Um, she soon realised um, that they would not be allowed to stay on. Farmer Hoggett's farm. Okay, I've made some mistakes there, so let's just correct those. Uh, she soon realised that they would not be allowed to stay on Farmer Hoggett's farm. So when they were old enough, okay, again, I'm sticking to it, okay, she's going to say, uh, go my enough. What have I just forgotten? I've forgotten it myself, all right? I've forgotten the um, rules of speech. Now I am gonna put this in. So when they were old enough, she said, um, oh, um, no, what? Well, I can change it, okay? It's my story, okay? I'm gonna say, off you go, my little ducklings. Um, just make sure, and I, I am, I'm not going to change it too much because the story isn't going to change in terms of what happens. Okay, I want them to go and build their own houses. Okay, off you go, my little ducklings, um, and explore the world. So, whoop, the world, full stop. Um, build yourself somewhere. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. I'm getting carried away. Build yourself somewhere to live. Just make sure the evil, uh, evil wolf, evil fox doesn't catch you. Okay, um, then I need to end with um, some punctuation and close my inverted commas. Okay, so there you go. I've just done the opening. Okay, that's an example of an invented opening. I changed, I've used the details from the, the normal story, from the original story, and I have put that into my, um, my new story, my invented story. Okay, I'm changing the characters. So that's your opening. Okay, you can pause the video now and have a go at doing the opening. Remember, you need a title to start with. Um, if you've got access to a printer and you can print off the boxing up sheets, then please do. If not, you definitely don't need it. You can just write opening in the margin and do some bullet points next to it. All right. Just to help you when it comes to doing your hot task next week, you'll be able to remember and use these ideas to help you.
All right. So opening, um, please go back um, and pause here if you would like this to stay on the screen and um, you can use some of my ideas. Remember, use the ideas in the box here. All right, to help you here, here, down here is the old story. You can definitely use that to help you as well. So um, once obviously we've done the opening, we can move on to the build up. Now, um, the build up is slightly different here because um, we're going to change um, some of the um, speech from what um, do, uh, from what Babe said. We're going to change it. So um, we can start thinking now about what each of the ducks built their houses of. So it says new animals. So here's your help. New animals go and make their new homes. One is very lazy. So that's going to be, which one's going to be lazy? Basil's going to be very lazy. Barney is um, a bit lazy. Um, and Boris, okay, he's a really good duck. Okay. And he's very good at building houses. So that's my plan in my head. Let's see if I can get that down on paper. So I'm going to keep that opening line because I quite like that. Okay. So, so off they went. Okay, the first duckling, Basil, okay, um, comma, was very lazy. Okay, full stop. Um, he didn't want to work at all. So he, he I'm just going to make notes now. I've got my opening line. He um, built... Now, if you want to, you can change some more um, here. He built his um, hut, it's going to be huts now, not going to be houses. He built his hut out of, hmm. now you can't choose, I'm going to choose something that's easy, paper. Okay, it's something that can be easily destroyed. All right, because remember the, the fox is going to come along and destroy it. All right, so um, he built his house out of paper. Okay. Uh, and then move on. So it was at the second pig. The second pig, what was his name? Barney. The second pig, Barney. Not the second pig. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. The second duckling, Barney. Okay, well done if you spotted my mistake. Uh, he worked a little harder. Okay, but... He was still a little lazy, okay? He built his hut out of, um, what can we go for? Um, cardboard, okay? Um, and then finally, so then it says, however, however, the third duckling, okay, you get the idea. So the third duckling, Bor comma, Boris worked hard all day, okay, and built his hut out of, now I'm gonna go for something that can't be broken. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check, keep it to bricks, okay. He built his house out of bricks. That's absolutely fine, by the way. If you can't think of anything, then just go back to the original story, okay? We've changed quite enough as it is. We're changing all of the characters. We're changing the speech, okay? So we've invented quite a lot. We do need to stick to the, um, the structure of the story, though, okay? The main parts, okay? Um, and so going back to this, we can go back to this build-up and carry on, okay? It goes out of bricks. Um, it had um, a fireplace, I'm gonna stick to that, okay? It will it'll be too difficult to um, change it at the end. It had a fireplace and could withstand even the uh, mm, harshest of winds, harshest of winds, okay? Hard, if it's harsh, it means um, it's a bad wind, the harshest of winds. Okay, and I've just done my opening builder, and that's all you need to do today. All right, so um, I've done I've heavily structured that. Please don't choose ducks um, or um, my names, okay, because that's just copying. See if you can use your own um, ideas and see if you can get the opening and the build up done today. Uh, what we'll do on Monday is move, um, come on to the problem 
and we'll put in our own speech in between um, our new characters. Okay, so that is your job for today. All right, so pause the video if you want to use the build up. Okay, some ideas there. All right, again, I've put the old story down here so you can see that. Okay, so it's just the opening and the build up that I want you to do today. Good luck. Uh, any questions, please shout and I will catch up with you soon.